I'm Dan Gukin, author of these word books, and it's Word Style Week. I always configure my word workspace with the styles pane on the right. It's a duplicate of what you find in the styles gallery on the home tab, but I find it easier to use and manipulate styles in this manner. To summon the styles pane on the home tab, click the launcher icon in the lower right corner of the styles group. If the styles formatting pane is floating, you can dock it at the right edge of the window, grab the pane and drag it until the mouse is right over the right edge of the window, and let go. I prefer to have the styles pane shown as a preview, so this item is checked. If you uncheck it, then the styles appear in a list, which is great to see more of them, but unless you know which names are associated with which styles, it doesn't help. Here's the new style button at the bottom of the styles pane. You click on it to create a style from scratch, but the advantage here is that you're immediately taken to this dialog box, which is great for fine tuning. Most of the time I use this pane to apply styles quickly and without having to click the home tab because the styles shown here are always available. So I can apply this style or that style, as well as see which style is currently applied to the text. The styles also sport a menu, which you can access by clicking the hidden button to the right of the style name. This is the same menu you see when you right-click a style in the Styles Gallery. Finally, the Options dialog box gives you control over how the style pane works. Click the Options link to see this dialog box. Now, I prefer to see only styles available in the current document, and I like to show the list alphabetically. Click OK, and you can see that the list shortens. This trick makes the styles pane more useful, in my opinion. Now, to dismiss the styles pane, should you ever want to, click the X button to close it. The styles pane will not open automatically when your document opens, so it's one of those things that I must summon every time I work in Word. And I don't mind, that is, until Microsoft learns about a workspace command, which is in every other application I use, but until then, this is a good trick to know. Mm -hmm.